Hello and welcome to your movement practice for today. Very excited to show you this little flow. We're gonna be learning three movements, a low cartwheel, a grinder, and a movement called a falling tree, which is a hip roll. And I'm gonna show you how to do all of these movements, how to transition between them, and how to combine them together. I would suggest warming up a little bit of your body before jumping into this. And if you're already feeling warm, then you're ready to go. I would suggest uh, for a warm up doing my um, full body activation or full body warm up video before jumping into this movement uh, section or this movement offering. So, first, let's go over the, um, the low cartwheel. So, let me show you what the low cartwheel looks like and then we're going to break it down. Show you from another angle. All right, so for starters, getting in a low squat, the first thing you're gonna to want to do is learn how to slightly turn and pivot on your back foot. Notice how I'm bringing my heel up off the ground so that I can be on the ball of my foot. Then I bring my leading hand onto the ground and start to bring my other arm around overhead not crossing in front of my body. So the first movement we're gonna to do to learn this is just bringing our hands on the ground and swinging this leg around. It's gonna look like this here, hand, and then swinging the leg. You're gonna to wanna to do this swing, this pivot on the ball of your foot. I'm gonna show you what that looks like from this angle. So first a little turn, hand comes down, I'm on the ball of my foot now, this hand or comes down and then the foot comes around. Again on the other side, hand, lift, hand, foot. Now, the second part of the movement is the exit. So we've learned turning, hand, hand, hips, foot, then when this foot lands, right here, on the ball of the foot, I stay on the ball of the foot, I start to drop my hips by bending in my knees, and then I take weight off of this foot so it can slide out, and then I drop my hips, keep some weight in my hand, as I come back into the squat. I'll explain that one more time from a different angle. So entry, hips come up, pivot, I bring weight into this foot so the other foot becomes light. And as this foot comes around, I drop my hips, keep some weight in this hand, and come back into squat. So now I'm going to get you to do this three to five times on each side. What that will look like is one side, then going over to the next, back the other way, and you get the picture. So, pause this video, do your repetitions, three to five on each side, and then when you're ready, come back, and I'll show you the next movement. All right, welcome back. Now we're gonna go into the grinder. Let me show you what that looks like. So the grinder, you're gonna start off in a crouched position on the ball of the foot. The other leg is extended outwards. Placing your hands out in the front, full palm on the ground. The first thing we're gonna learn how to do is just bring the leg medial or inside. So bringing your leg inside, one hand, two hands, and then from here, just a little push up. Try that on the other side. So switch your legs, get in the starting position, crouching on your foot. My weight's coming directly down on the ball of the foot. Other leg is out extended, hands fully planted on the ground. Bring your leg inside, one hand, 
two hands. And then this leg is nice and close to the other foot. Little push up. Now we're going to learn how to bring the leg all the way around. So I'm going to show you from this angle. So the same beginning motion, leg comes inside, hand, hand. Then as you do your little push up, you're going to kick this leg, the straight leg back. So bring your head a little bit close to the ground, kick it back, and then bring it out again. Let's try that again. Reset. Hands out in front, full palm on the ground. Bring the leg medial or inside towards you. One hand, two hand, then a little dip, a little push up, and then hop and bring it around. Eventually in time, you'll be able to do this sequentially without stopping. So here, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So just like the low cartwheel, pause this video, do three to five repetitions on each side. If three to five feels really easy, do five to 10. Keep your breath fluid throughout the movement. When you feel you are complete, unpause this video and come back to learn the final movement, the falling tree hip roll. All right, the falling tree hip roll. This is a bit different from the other movements we are doing. It's a bit more dancey. It's a bit more floor work i I'm super excited to show you. Let me show you what it looks like. Quite beautiful, isn't it? Let's see one more time. All right, so let's break this down. Very similar to the grinder starting position, we are crouching on the ball of the foot, but instead of having our leg out to the side, now we're gonna bring it forward. So from this position, bring your arm onto the straight leg side, so your weight is on that arm. First thing we're gonna learn how to do is slide ourselves forward so that this hip can come to the ground. So this kind of motion, right here. Once you've gotten to this position, you're going to bring your chest down to the ground and bring both of your legs up like so. Bring your hands into a push-up position near your chest, right here. From here, as I come over to the other side, I'm gonna straighten the opposite leg and then keep the other one bent as I push myself up into the seated posture. So when I went into this movement, my right leg was straight. Now my right leg is bent and my left leg is straight. Let's do that again very slowly. You can follow me or just watch so you can get an understanding of what's going on. So crouch position. I'm on the ball of my left foot. Bring my hand down, fingers facing out. First I slide my straight leg forward. I let my hip touch the ground. Then I bring my full body to the ground. My hands are gonna be near my chest and then I bend my legs squeeze the glutes, I keep rotating, I keep my right leg bent, and then I open up my left leg as I push myself up into this position. Now when you do this, this requires a little bit of surrendering, a little bit of falling into the ground, but as I promise you, if you let your hip come down to the ground first, and then bring your chest, there's a bit of twisting that happens, let your chest come first, then the hips come, then the hips bring you out, you should have no problem. And if you do have a problem, don't worry about it. Again, movement is about exploration. Movement is about being in a process. It's not about doing it perfect. So you're already winning by being here. I congratulate you for being here. Thank you for being here. Thank you for exploring your body. So now I would encourage you to, again, practice three to five on each side. Doing one side hip roll. Resetting going to the other side. Once you've done your three to five repetitions on each side, you can unpause the video, come back, and then we're going to learn how to combine these movements to create the flow.
All right, welcome back. So let's combine these uh, movements. I'm gonna show you how to do the transitions and then we can combine it, pardon me, into a flow. I'll show you what all these movements look like together and then we'll talk about the transitions. So here's the flow. All right, so transition number one. A transition is combining two movements together. So the transition is what combines them. The transition, the first transition that we're gonna go over is the low cartwheel into the grinder and it's quite straightforward. I'm gonna speak as I go through this transition, as I combine these two movements. So low cartwheel, as I finish my low cartwheel, I'm gonna bring my leg out to the side, plant my hands out in front, and now I'm ready for the grinder. One more time, low cartwheel. One, two. I bring my weight over to the side that I'm, where the momentum is going. Bring my hands out in front, stick my leg out, and then I bring my leg inside. So that is the low cartwheel to grinder transition. If that is very easy for you and you can do it pretty much off the bat, just continue watching this so you can learn the next transition. If it's a little bit difficult for you, pause the video, practice it a little bit, have some fun, and then when you feel satisfied, come back to learn the next transition. So the next transition is the grinder into the falling tree hip roll, which looks like this. So, also a fairly easy transition. All this requires is that we bring our leg a little bit inside and then we're ready for the falling tree. So, from your grinder, I'm just gonna do one this time. I'm gonna bring my leg to the inside, stop it here, place my hand on the straight leg side and then initiate the falling tree hip roll. Let's try it on the other side or if you'd like, just take a look. So grinder, bring the leg on the inside, place my hand down on the straight leg side, lift the other hand up, and then into the falling tree. Again, if this is quite easy for you, I'm gonna now show you once more what the flow looks like, and you can continue with the whole flow. If this is a bit difficult for you, practice this a few times and then come to the full flow. So, now we're gonna try the whole flow. I would love for you to follow along with me. We're gonna do one on each side and then, um, and then I'll allow you to explore as many times as you want. I'd recommend doing this flow at least three times on each side so you can really get into your body. And then, bonus, Finishing with a little bit of meditation, you can check out one of my meditations um, that are available and, um, on my website, or just taking at least a few moments to deeply breathe and come back into your body, but let's do the flow first. So I'm gonna enunciate everything that's happening in my body so you can follow along nice and slow. So we're gonna start on the squat, doing the low cartwheel, and we're gonna go to the left side. So take a nice deep breath in. Exhale, come over to your left side for low cartwheel. One, two. Then bring your hands out in front, leg out to the side, right leg extends, two grinders. One, two. Bring your leg inside, bring your right hand next to your right hip, your right leg is straight, and then come down for the side hip or the falling tree. Very nice. Let's do it on the other side. So this time we're gonna to go to the right side. Inhale, exhale, low cartwheel. Inhale, exhale, place your hands down, extend your leg, 
for a grinder. Left leg is straight. Let's do it twice. One, two. Then bring your leg inside, close to the bent knee. Place your left hand down and then slide forward. Hands down to the ground, legs up. Extend your right leg as you come out. And voila. So now I encourage you to practice this again, at least three times on each side, have fun with it. Remember, there's no mistakes. You're just discovering your body. And if this is super easy for you, play with different tempos, play with different speeds. For example, in between the movements, when I'm making the transition, there's an opportunity to slow things down or speed things up. So for example, if I go low cartwheel, slow, and then fast, and then slow, fast. Playing with tempo can really increase the difficulty and spice things up for you a little bit. After you're done this practice, I would highly recommend either sitting and laying down and just being with your breath for at least a couple minutes, preferably five to 10 minutes, or even better, checking out one of my meditations that will allow you to come back into your body and what this provides your body is an opportunity to integrate, to uh, really take in the lessons that it's learned. When you move in this way, when you move in any way, your, your brain starts to create neural pathways, starts to lay down myelin, which is like a fatty tissue onto your neurons. And you resting for a moment allows your body to really take in that information. It doesn't require any conscious awareness, doesn't require any thought, it's just deep breathing and feeling into the resting state, letting yourself come down into a regulated state. So I hope this was very fun for you. I hope that you enjoy this flow. This is an amazing way to uh, attain some mobility, some strength, and just get into your body. Much love, peace.